In this video, I will tell in detail how to manually mesh the slab in EDAPS. This is the second part of meshing tutorial of EDAPS. The link to part 1 and part 3 is given in description. In this video, we will discuss how to manually mesh the slab. Important points to be considered when meshing the slab. The mesh area must be at least 3 feet by 3 feet. Smaller the mesh area, more accurate will be the results. Meshing is done in shell type elements, not in membrane. Meshing is important as ETABs work on filet element method of structural analysis. The meshing lines must be continuous from span to span. The left side image presents a wrong meshing example while the right side image presents the right meshing. Let's start with the meshing tutorial. First we will define the grids for the structure. Defining the material properties. Defining the frame cross sections such as beam and columns. Editing the property modifiers according to ACI. For beam. Actually, the parameter should be 20 by 12. Press OK. Now defining the column property. Property modifiers according to ACI code to incorporate the crack moment of inertia. Now we will be defining this slab cross section. Let's take a 6 inch thick slab. Six inch. The property is shell thin. In third part of the video, I will tell you the difference between membrane and shell thin. The link to that video is given in description. Right now we selected shell thin. Input the property modifiers according to ACI code since the code we are using is ACI to incorporate the crack moment of inertia. Press OK. Now modeling the structure.
now drawing the slab make sure that your slab is properly joined to the frame members if it is a slab supported on frame Since in the beginning of this video, I told that the mesh area shall be maximum 3 feet by 3 feet. So we will draw the dimension line so that we can divide the area into 3 feet by 3 feet. Since the total dimension is 15 feet, so we need to know how many 5 feet. Uh, three fit areas will come in it so we will get five squares in x direction of three fit for y direction the dimension is 10 fit So we will need at least 4 squares in y direction. So now we will match the slab. In 5, feet by, in 5 boxes by 4 boxes. So you see the error was because of the chamfered area. You cannot match the slab by dividing it if it is chamfered. So now you need to draw a none property beam that is just a simply line that helps you in modeling the structure and has no stiffness. We input 36 inches for 3 feet dimension so that we can break the slab into 3 feet by 3 feet dimensions. Drawing the lines for the squares which we want to divide the slab thirty six inch in y direction since we require three fit by three fit small boxes at least. Now select the dividing lines and the slab and choose the first option cookie cut objects of selected frame. Select the slab as well. Now click on apply. OK. Now you see the slab is broken into small areas which have at most dimension of 3 feet by 3 feet. The dimension can be less than 3 feet by 3 feet but not exceed 3 feet for accuracy purposes. Now you may select the none lines and delete them. Since this panel is rectangular so you may divide it simply by mesh option. It is a 10 feet by 10 feet area so you may divide it into four objects but now you see which I already told that the meshing lines should be continuous which is not the case here so we need to undo the mesh by pressing ctrl and z and go for another option to make the meshing continuous go to shells divide shells divide quadrilaterals and triangles at intersections and edges click on apply so you see the meshing lines extended to divide the slab further in y direction 
For x direction, you may split the slab since there is no chance right now for discontinuity. No meshing in x direction. Press OK. Now the meshing lines are continuous. You may repeat the procedure as above panels in the below panels as well. But for demonstration purposes, I will be showing you different options. I extended the lines to be continuous. Now drawing the previously known or demonstrated none lines to divide the slab. For three feet. The smaller remainder area could have been downside as well. It is not important. The important thing is that the maximum mashing matched area shall be 3 feet by 3 feet. Now click on cookie cut. So the slab is now matched. You need to select it, delete the none lines. Divide the shells. You have to select the cookie cut option, which I previously mistaken that I did not select it. Now draw the none lines again. Select the lines and the panels to be matched. Go to cookie cut option. Check extend frames if you wish to extend the lines, meshing lines into other panels. Now select the null lines and press delete button. The load pattern would al already be defined for the dead load. Save the model and run the analysis. Now you see the deformed shape. The, op the results for displacement and rotation you are getting is at the nodes and that is the reason the finer the meshing the fi the accurate will be the results and the deformed shape diagram will be more smooth so you see the bending moment diagram for the supporting member that is beam right click and you see point loads if you selected finer meshing option that was one fit by one fit meshing then there would have been more point loads and the deformed shape would have been more accurate the link to the third part of the video for difference between shell thin and membrane is given in the description subscribe to the channel to be updated